Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a beautiful 3D flower étagère. After she mixed her part A and part B resin for about 3 minutes, she separated it into smaller cups. She adds gold leaf flakes into this smaller cup, and she uses a wooden stick to move the flakes from the box into the cup because they do tend to stick onto gloves. Then she mixes them together with the resin and puts it aside to use for later. Next, she's going to be mixing her white and she's using a few drops of casting craft. Make sure to mix your pigments well for a few minutes so that you don't have any blobs of pigment in your resin. Then she's going to be using gold acrylic ink. She adds a few drops into her cup and mixes that well for a few minutes and she checks the opacity by tilting her cup. Next, she's going to be using Luxury Ghost Gold Pearl by Deep on D, and she adds a small spoonful into a small amount of resin. She mixes for a few minutes and then adds more clear resin gradually. She mixes each time she adds the clear resin, and this way you can be sure that the ghost pearls are going to be mixed evenly and well into the resin. The ghost pearls add a beautiful shimmer to the resin, and once she's done mixing, she pours into both molds. She decided to add a little bit more of the ghost pearls into the resin and then pours the remainder into the two molds. Now she adds her gold flakes mixed with resin into the center of the molds. She's doing so with the help of a wooden stick, which gives her better control of the placement of the gold flakes. Then she uses the wooden stick to make slight adjustments and spread the gold flakes out a little bit more. Here she's adding the white pigmented resin into a plastic bag and she's going to cut the tip of the corner to be able to apply the white pigmented resin very easily. She's adding a bronze shade of mica powder by Resin Pro into the previously mixed gold acrylic ink and she mixes them together well. And then adds it into a plastic bag as well. Now she's ready to start applying her pigmented resin into the molds and she starts off with the white pigmented resin in the shape of flower petals and does that all the way around the mold. And she does the same in the second mold. Once she's done with the white pigmented resin, she adds the gold pigmented resin in the same motion. She uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles, and when using a torch gun, make sure to have it constantly moving so that you don't burn your resin or your silicone molds. Then she uses a heat gun and slowly moves it around the molds, and this is to help the movement of the pigmented resin. Once she's done with the heat gun, she uses the wooden stick to drag out from the center in between each flower petal.
and she uses the torch gun once more to pop any air bubbles. My mom had leftover resin, so she had just enough to make a third piece. And here's a clip of my mom demolding the three pieces. One of the final steps is to add a layer of food safe epoxy resin. After adding liquid latex to the back edges, she props them onto a cup to add the food safe resin. If some of the resin accidentally flows over, the other side won't be ruined and she can cover the whole area in food safe resin with ease. When making anything with resin with the intent of it being for food, be sure to add a top coat of food safe resin to ensure that there will be no chemical contamination. She uses a makeup brush to spread the resin to the edges. And a torch gun to pop any air bubbles. She uses a wooden stick to remove any dust particles or lint. This is a clip of my mom removing the latex after applying the food safe resin. Once 24 hours has passed and the resin has cured, the étagère is ready to be assembled. With the help of our dog, Bo, of course. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.